For those of you that have been selling on Amazon for a while, this image right here probably looks familiar to you. I completely forgot how foreign this graph probably looks for new sellers seeing it for the very first time. And even more than that, it appears more complicated at first glance, and everyone always talks about how important it is to know e-score or to look at the sales rank history. And for new sellers looking at this thing right here, I can see how it would be confusing. So today, I'm gonna break down this chart and show you how easy it is to actually read and understand so you don't have to have anything blocking you from moving forward in your journey selling on Amazon successfully. What's going on? My name is Matthew Osborne and this is the first video I'm going to call a three minute Thursday. I've come to the realization recently, you guys don't come to my videos to hear me and my interests, but you do come to these videos in order to get value that you can hopefully apply to your life and your business. So I'm making to the point as quickly as possible. Everything I'm saying right now sounds like I'm procrastinating on getting to the point of this video. So here is the three second breakdown on the new three minute Thursdays. Every Thursday, I'm gonna put out a roughly three minute educational video explaining a topic in the simplest way possible. This way people selling or people new to selling on Amazon or entrepreneurship can come here, click on a three minute Thursday video, knowing they can get their question answered quickly and efficiently without needing to watch a one and a half hour training webinar like we normally do. So with that said, let's throw three minutes on the clock and explain East score and sales rank. By the way, this is completely an idea stolen from Peter McKinnon's Two Minute Tuesdays. I just needed one more minute and two more days to get my point across. Okay, first we're going to cover sales rank. Sales rank is a rank Amazon gives each product that sells on Amazon to give us an idea how often it's selling. Notice I said it's a rank Amazon gives products that are selling. This is because if a product is listed on Amazon and has never sold a single item, it will not have a sales rank. That is just a fun little fact for you. All right, so product sells on Amazon and Amazon gives it a sales rank. Is that the same for all products? Great question, and the answer to that is no. Amazon gives products a sales rank based on the product category they are in. So for example, sales rank for books is only for books and sales rank for toys is only for toys. Uh, they don't correlate to each other. There are breakdowns you can find online that show you various sales ranks roughly mean for each category, kind of like this right here. Although in this video, we're gonna talk specifically about sales rank for the book category and keep it simple. Sales rank does not show you how many items have sold of a particular product. Amazon does not release that information. Sales rank shows us how popular that item is in relation to the other items in the same category. So a sales rank of 100,000 means all the books sold on Amazon, that particular book ranks about the 100,000th most popular. Now, that's not that it's sold 100,000 copies. Very different things. Now, on to one of the most important parts of the discussion. How do you even find sales rank or how do you see a sales rank graph because that's very important for this discussion right here so within the Amazon sellers app you can search for products and see the sales rank right on the screen you can also see sales rank on the Amazon product page in the details section as well although in order to see why a single snapshot of sales rank is not effective in understanding a product we need to head over to a sales rank graph a sales rank graph can be found from a service like Keepa, which tracks products from across Amazon when users like you visit the product page with their Chrome extension installed. Or, like we'll be using today, we can use Chart IQ, which is available completely for free for Scout IQ users. Both charts display sales rank. We simply created Chart IQ to fill in some gaps Keepa had and keep information for free for our Scout IQ users instead of having them pay an extra fee for something like Keepa. So this is what a sales rank graph looks like. You'll see a few squiggly lines. One is black and that indicates the lowest used price for a book. The other one is blue and this indicates the lowest new price. The other line is green and this is the sales rank. The graph as a whole covers a six month period of time. Here's how to read it. Each time sales rank goes down signifies at least one sale has been made. For example, in this chart, we can see it climb and then it dips to around 100,000, then it climbs, then it dips to around 100,000. A rule of thumb for books is that when a sale happens, regardless of whether it's currently a sales rank of 500,000 or 2 million, it will drop to around 100,000. Okay, if a book sells multiple copies in a day, it will drop below 100,000. A sales rank of 100,000 means it just sold. Sales rank of 1 million means it sold between five and seven days ago, roughly. 2 million means it sold a month ago, and it keeps getting longer and longer as the sales rank continues to climb and climb until another sale happens and it drops again. Here's how you can get into trouble with sales rank. 
Okay, take a look at this book right here. This book sells for around $25. If you scan this book on May 11th, you'd never buy it. You'd see a sales rank of 5 million and say this book hasn't sold in half a year. I think I'll pass. Although what happens if you scan this book on May 19th, right after it's had a sale? You'd see a sales rank around 200,000 and say, hey, I'll buy it. A sales rank of 200,000 means it recently sold. I can make a decent profit. You'd buy it, throw it in your cart, bring it home, and you wouldn't know unless you took the time to look it up in a sales rank chart, like you're doing probably right now when you're listing it, that it hadn't sold for a long time before that and you probably won't be getting your money back. This is where eScore comes into play. E-score is something we created for Scout IQ that us as sellers get a more holistic picture of sales frequency of an item as opposed to simply looking at a snapshot in time with sales rank. What eScore does is it tells us how many days in the past 180 days an item has received at least one sale. eScore in a sense tells you how many dips in the graph there have been. So for example, on the last book we looked at, if we go to sales rank right after it sold, we'd see a sales rank of 200,000. Whereas if we looked at eScore, we'd see an eScore of one, meaning this book has sold once in the past six months. This would lead us as sellers to disregard the sales rank since we know it's not giving us an accurate picture of the current book's sales velocity. If you guys want access to Chart IQ, see the first link in the bio for the Chrome extension. And if you want the ability to see eScore, simply sign up for Scout IQ at scoutiq.co. Be on the lookout for another 3 Minute Thursday next Thursday, and I will see you then.